needle vibrated across Gray's skin as specks of blood crept out behind it. Hawkins paused for a second, pulling a creaking wood stool further under the immense weight of his body. He took a clean cloth diaper and blotted the greenish-red goo off of Gray's back. This one is going to be a beauty, Hawkins said as he leaned back and admired his work. Finish the job, Hawkins, Gray barked. I'm tired of the pain! Well, my friend, there's pain. He took the needle and pressed it hard into Gray's back. And then there's pain. And I know pain. You're a total bustard, Hawkins. Yeah, I am. But I am also the best skin artist that you will ever find. He wiped off the muck again. At least in this country. The time in the chair was beginning to pay off. Hawkins was beginning to open up. He clenched his teeth and let his eyes wander around the shop as the needle danced on his back. Hawkins was a first-class pack rat. On the wall was a giant French movie poster for the Maltese Falcon. Metal shelves lined most of the wall space with small, twisted figurines in no particular order, each piece more grotesque than the next. In the centre of the menagerie was a human face coming out of a large block of blackened metal. On the desk across from it, an ornate antique metal cash register sat on a glass countertop. Underneath was a message. Artist on duty nine to five every day. Gray looked down at the floor. How long did you say you were in the Merchant Marines? Actually, I wasn't. Gray lifted his head. Hawkins leaned forward and whispered into Gray's ear, The good story kills time. Gray felt a sinking feeling in his gut. He had been conned. If Hawkins only knew the truth, he might be feeling the same way. Don't feel too bad, Hawkins said with a smile. Most of the stuff I told you was true. You see, I was a soldier of sorts. A soldier for hire. Gray twisted around to see Hawkins' face. No shit, a mercenary? Hawkins sat back with a contented smile. Now you know that fact, I think that would bother a lot of people. The fact that I took money to kill, but I knew you would get into it. Gray could feel his mouth start to water. Did you enjoy it? The killing, Hawkins questioned. Gray nodded as he looked deep into Hawkins' eyes, trying to see what he was seeing. Sometimes it was a blast. That is, if everything went well with the operation. But things have a tendency of going wrong, though, when you are killing people. Is that what you meant when you said you knew pain? Hawkins shook his head. Hawkins reached down, grabbing the bottom of his stretched shirt, and then pulled it up. Gray's face winced. A pentagram had been deeply cut into Hawkins' chest and stomach, starting at the bottom of his neck, across his nipples, and down to his waistline. I was awake for the whole thing. Ah.